वॉट इज ग्राफिडी वॉट इज स्ट्रीट आर्ट वाई डू डू दिस आर यू फ्रॉम एनी एनजीओ डू यू गेट पेड फॉर इट सो दीज आर सम कॉमन क्वेश्चन आई फेस वाइल डूइंग स्ट्रीट आर्ट ऑन द वन हैंड दिस क्वेश्चन मे सीम ट्रिवियल और फनी but they throw light on a lack of understanding in our society about visual art a mural is a large painting drawn on the wall you know like sistine chapel ceiling done by michael angelo graffiti is a controversial subject while murals are mainly paintings graffiti could be a scribbling text written on the wall and done by spray cans and marker pens etc anonymity is a major element in a graffiti artist names are unknown or they use pseudonyms graffiti also happens in a public walls without taking a permission we can see that contemporary graffiti arisen from black and latino hip hop music and street underground culture the fundamental principle of graffiti was let artists work get out of museum and to the reach wider audience in the most countries painting property without permission consider as a vandalism which is punishable crime though some of the greatest artists like here the samo he always written his name that that's what i'm talking about anonymity the samo is jan michel baskia so he is one of the artists known and he is black artist in america so he known by graffiti artist also the second name is banksy he is done this graffiti around this tension between palestine jerusalem and also he uh, the name of this graffiti call love is in the air and the flower thrower also after that he wrote there graffiti is a crime and also this is another ironical graffiti the soldiers during war painting on the wall the peace sign i have been practicing art forms like paintings photography street art last few years but i'm never happy to put my work into a, any exhibition or any galleries i'm never interested to put my art into that compartment or like a boxes so i always fascinated when i was in college to paint my college walls so i am always interested to paint outdoor walls i think the purpose of street art is not to decorate city walls like a beautiful flowers trees butterflies or any political propaganda it's an effective tool of resistance globally there are so many examples of graffiti being a sharp critic of the contemporary socio political situation i do street art because i wanted to communicate with common people as a tool of resistance also after my college during that travel and journey i found out group called bade muchwale through that group i travel all around india and city across like banaras orissa bombay goa delhi so during that journey i painted few wall art during that journey so here is one wall art i wanted to explain like this is done in banaras so banaras is known for the culture goddesses hindu deity and mythology this is done in goa so usually 
Goa is known for beaches, beautiful houses, color with so many beautiful pop up colors. And usually, Goa is known for yoga and meditation, so many foreigners and tourist people coming over there. So, they usually talk in that language how we talk about vibe and how we talk about energy and like, you know, how we talk about namaste. So, they will talk about in that language full power because of there is one band. Uh, I forgot his uh, band name, but they uh, that famous song called Full Power 24 Hour. So this song is very famous in all over the Goa and all over the Goa restaurant, cafes on all chat. So this is what they talk when they meet, like full power. So this is what I have done in Goa. Also talking about my graffiti series in Pune. Uh, last three years I shifted to Pune and uh, I was just roaming around in the city and meeting my new friends, discussing with them, sharing ideas and like that. So the first typography series in Pune, outcome of my interaction with this city as an outsider. Pune is known for educational institution, also known for cultural capital of Maharashtra. And I find it out. The Pune people are very interesting, like, you know, they are very particular about their food. Also, they are particular about languages. If you talk in a very wrong grammar, grammatically, so they correct it in that way to you. So this is how I see the Pune people, like, you know, uh, and they have their own accent and they have their own shortcuts also to use it in that way. And roaming around this city, I find it out there are so many dead walls I can see around it because Pune is almost, I find it out, known for filmmaking, theater, and classical music. But there is, I didn't find any visual art person also, and there is no beautiful walls and murals in it. So I observed that point and I, I started thinking how I can interact with those Pune people and Pune girls. I thought instead of communicating with the Punekers through pictures or paintings, I thought why not their words and phrases. So this is what I started with. This is my first street art in Pune, Ganle, and this is appropriate with this city, which is called really Ganle. And this is Aura using like a street sign over their roads and the maps into that because you know, Pune is, uh, Pune have like very issue about traffic and you know, you're stuck into the traffic and like that. So I, I'm trying to convey that idea ki hey, Aura tha. and after that, what do you, and they call it like, you know, you're mad or like, you know, like, so they use it that word called Yedia. And uh, this is one more interesting graffiti called Khadar Pune. People is very particular about their food and they have a lot of time to go and eat particular food or particular things. So, yeah, so, and they are foodie also. So this is another one, Kamal. And this is what we call about Niwan. So Pune people are very, the Pune city is almost like a, very slow paced city and people are very relaxed and people have a lot of time and you know and you can see their dogs also are resting i'm trying to add that uh, emotion or that fun into that typography and also this uh, series portray that characteristic of that city like you know and these words have become an emotion that express much more than what dictionary says. Also, I wanted to introduce, like, show you my another second series in Pune, You're Offline. So this is what we made with the stencil and spray cans. And so the idea behind it, to drive home our over-dependence on online, on social media. Networking, regrettably, we are offline when we are on the road. We are also engrossed by social media that we hardly observe re real issues. What is happening around and what is happening around in our society. Graffiti is a tool 
I am using as a resistance. Hence, to pinpoint the contemporary situation of our society where we are losing our sensibilities, rationality, logic, tolerance, and we are not aware of what is happening around us. We are always neglected and, you know, neglecting that issues. And we are day by day becoming, get so numb about the wrong happenings in our society. So, after that, I come with this, another one typography series called Vivek. Starka, the logic, and Shanda. And here you can see that this is actual representation of our society. And this is what I'm trying to highlight that point. We are not aware, aware of that language or visual art. And this is what we are talking about. So there are challenges because graffiti is not that much cool, like, you know, because of street artists always get caught up by police and get punished. Uh, and so this is. <laughs> one more incident happened with me in when I was in Pune, like seven years ago. Me and one of my friends returning to home with the uh, with a train journey, and I painted this local kadabba, and and I started painting around that window. And before celebrating our joy, we caught up by the cops, and then after I paid to fine and everything. But yeah. This is not an easy affair, like, you know. There are hardly few public walls left for graffiti, as many are filled with propaganda and beautiful decoration, flowers kind of a thing, or social messages. But I have some of my future plans because I'm trying to develop that idea. Why always wall? Why not some pasting kind of a thing? So I'm planning to... Uh, do some design with the stickers and stickers with very easy to carry with yourself and you can reach to all over the city also and you know and this kind of a thing you can done in very quickly also so sticker is the one idea and second idea is like i'm planning to uh, print some design on seat covers because pune have a large number of bikers and bikes so that seat cover can be travel all around the city and you know so the idea behind it that artwork should be travel all over the city because usually people go uh, for exhibition you have to go reach to that particular location then uh, go to in, go to the inside gallery and see that artwork but i'm planning to put that design uh, and the idea behind it that design travel all around the city if you see the graffiti of history, people have explored through a various mediums, styles, but the art form has been still alive and has continued to attract youth all over the world, filled with lots of energy and spirit, and will make mark on a public memory. And of course, graffiti is a truly young art form in a real sense. And I would like to end my talk with this Bansky quotes. If you get tired, learn to rest, not to quit. I think that's the real spirit of graffiti. Thank you so much.